Here's why you need to use one of the smaller exchanges such as NYSASH with the crazy pricing. I previously got filled on a crazy price on Ravencoin at 0.042 when it was trading at 0.56 and today I've got filled on Bitcoin. As you can see here the highest price Bitcoin's traded to is around $48,000 and I had a limit order to sell at $50,000 we just it just got filled sell limit $50,000 so I sold Bitcoin at $50,000 on USDC when it never traded at it hmm so how's that happen here let me show you let me go to the BTC USD charge then you'll see look at that that's why it happened three minute chart five minute 15 minute oh you got lots of spikes there earlier so that's how you can execute trades at crazy look at this one forty one thousand dollars I'm get, when it was trading at what 46 you could buy at 41 and it's trading at 46 and sell at 59 when it's trading at 47 that is some crazy crazy pricing on nice ash and I've just got executed at 50 I'm gonna put a limit order into sell I don't I ain't got much left because I've sold it all but let's sell um 100% at $55,000 yeah I ain't got much so I already sold it at 50 so all right look I'm selling Bitcoin now at $55,000 and current price is around 47 so this is why it, well, it's not much because there's I ain't got much but let's see if I can get this executed as well let me order it in place so that's my sell order there crazy pricing with nice ash if you know what you're doing you can buy cheap like I bought with Ravencoin at no point look what Ravencoin is now look at this you had a spike oh no let's go earlier where was the spike to 0.4 0.0 oh, that's early you have to go oh there no, earlier where was the spike it was a while ago let me change it to one hour there you can just see it there let's make it bigger yeah look see that spike there not put on 16th July price was here about 5.2 and just for a split second it spiked down let's zoom into it so you can see look see I was man I had a limit order to buy a 0.042 and it got executed the actual price was around here 0.51 see nice ash is crazy pricing you get these occasional spikes there we had one to the downside roughly once a month and here you add it one to the upside for well you had one there to 17.8 it never traded to 17.8 elsewhere but for all of the basically all of the cryptos you get these crazy pricing where today I got it for BTC BTC on USDC and I just managed that's why I got so many limit orders all over the place to capitalize mostly on Ravencoin but I've got so many limit orders all over the place try and capitalize and I've just put one in to sell uh, I haven't got much Bitcoin left uh, I've got a limit order there to sell at 55,000 if another spike occurs you never know so that's me capitalizing on crazy crypto pricing with the smaller the larger exchanges like Binance, you're not going to get this sort of behavior, but with the smaller exchanges such as NYSASH, you do get massive opportunities. Obviously, 
your orders have to be small or they won't get filled you know you're not talking about thousands of dollars maybe in the hundreds so you have to place lots of small orders and they'll get filled fill it i'd say under under five hundred dollars you should be filled on a spike if it's large it won't but look at that you can see it there Bitcoin on Ravencoin traded up to, I mean on NiceHash traded up to nearly $60,000. And I had a limit order. So earlier I saw this spike here to 51. So I put a limit order in to sell at 50,000. <laughs> and it got executed. Now I've seen this spike, I've set a limit order at 55,000. I ain't got much, but I thought, oh look, it's already spiked to 50, so I might as well. If it spikes again and look here it's spiked down to 40 so you i could put a buy up at 42 now and just trade the the spikes this is the bitcoin price and these are where you could buy sell buy sell just by trading volatility oh, is that volume i think that's volume no, that's not a spike. Look there. You had a spike down there. Spike up there. These are where the market is not traded. It's just because they've got low volume. There. 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 These are smaller, but you do get some massive... Look at this volatility. You can put buy orders there and sell orders there. And just get triggered. <laughs> I can make a fortune. Just by trading the like here at 30,000 buy at 30 yeah and sell it this is not with the benefit of hindsight I've been doing this but I'm doing this video I, I have posted other videos on another channel but I'm doing this video to show you that the volatility that exists even with Bitcoin on smaller exchanges that you can get filled at prices where they don't trade you know buy here sell here this way I put a, I saw this and I put a sell limit at fifty thousand because okay, that'll get filled. And it went up to fifty nine. Obviously with the benefit of hindsight I would have put it around fifty five. Which I've now done. My next spike might be higher. You don't know. Anyway, just in case if it does spike it to fifty five, I'll sell what little I've got. I ain't got much because I already sold it on this spike here to fifty. So even though Bitcoin is not traded to 50, I've sold it at 50. It's currently around 47. And somebody could put us here a limit to buy at say 40. I'll put it at 42.50, 42.500 call it. And there will be a spike down temporary and be bought back, pop back up. So you could put limit orders to buy here, 50, 42.350 and limit orders to sell at 55 or more reasonably 50 yeah and you could just let a nice ass volatility earn you was it 10 percent or more 20 percent of the range that's how you make money with nice ass crypto trading the crazy prices i've already done it with naven coin i've got tons of orders there look i've got order it well below the prices and some will get uh, filled on spikes Raven it's crazy pricing with nice hash because it's mainly a mining Nice hash if you don't know it's mainly a miner and they bolted on markets and Because the volume is so low they get some Very low volatile volatile price action, which you can capitalize on if your orders are of the right size small enough so that they get filled. Well, you might get a percentage filled anyway. Yeah. So now you know how to capitalize on small exchange volatility. Because to get these temporary spikes that last. You can't watch them and wait for the spike. Because you know, they're less than a minute. A few seconds. But if you put the limit orders in, they'll get You don't get it with Binance. No, there's no point. The, their order flow is more... High, higher volume and heavily manipulated their pricing is very manipulated in their favor with 
Nice ash is more natural pricing because they make their money from mining. You know, the what the pools, hash power. They don't make it from a say there here you got they've got the market place for hash power. This is how they make their money. Whereas obviously the crypto exchanges make it from trading volume. Look at that. You could have sold today you could have sold Bitcoin for fifty nine thousand dollars. How to buy Bitcoin for forty two thousand forty one thousand and sell for fifty nine thousand while it's trading at forty seven. Yeah I could do a video. <laughs> Bitcoin trading at 47, I could, that would be a good title for this video. Bitcoin trading at 47,000, how to sell at 59,000 and buy at 41,000. And it, it, it's possible, all while Bitcoin's trading at 47. Easy money. See? All those of you avoiding crypto because they're high risk, you don't have a clue what you're missing out on. Easy money. It's the wild, wild west. Cryptos are the wild, wild west of markets, and this illustrates why. There's some ways you can't lose limit. There's no way to lose limit by because the volatility is so high. Anyway, I thought I'd share my video on Market Oracle channel of what it's like trading in the wild, wild crypto small exchange west. There'll be other exchanges out there similar to Nice Ash. Yeah. do check out the link in the description if you want to join I don't get anything I've not made anything but you never know I might so far there's not yield because the the referrals are more to do with hash power and no one buys hash power so it doesn't make any difference if you do or don't I'm not going to make nothing from the referrals not made anything so far just in case yeah anyway I thought I'd share my experience of the wild wild west of how you can capitalize on volatility and low volume someone puts in a buy order <laughs> oh i feel sorry for the guy who bought it at fifty nine thousand dollars see that's if you, what happens if you don't use stops and limits if you buy at the market put what probably happened is this someone put a large order in to buy at the market and they got filled depending on where the sell limits are Hmm? So it saturated the supply at 47,000 then it went up, 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 up until his order was fulfilled. So most of his order would have been filled around here. Yeah, this is what happened. This is why you get these spikes. Someone put a large order in, you can see the volume to buy. Some got filled here, some here, 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 man got filled here. And it went all the way to 60,000 before the demand was satisfied that's what happened that's why you get these spikes although there's not much volume here it's still got spikes there must have been limit orders going all the way to 60,000 so there's people that out there know what they're doing they're putting the limit order in like me I can say look at this one 55,000 when it's trading at 30 you have to be careful at buying at the market on these small exchanges. Always use limit orders. Buying and selling, otherwise you could end up like this. He's got to check where he bought his. He got what? Six fifty nine thousand. What the hell's happened there? <laughs> What's the problem? You're buying on exchanges with low volume. So do remember to subscribe for new crypto videos and if you want to uh, do check out my comprehensive in-depth analysis of the crypto markets that was first made available to patrons who support my work for just three dollars per month that looks set to rise to four dollars per month however for all existing patrons and those who sign up before the price hike they get it for three dollars per month locked in so lock it in now and you get comprehensive analysis my first access to my analysis full spectrum analysis like I spent three weeks on the 
crypto markets so it's not like a couple of hours in a post it is in-depth analysis covering trend forecasts into the end of the year for bitcoin and yes even though the analysis were done a while ago it included the current trend higher in the bitcoin price yeah so it's not like oh you were calling for a bear market but price has gone up well i forecast the price would go up to around 47 48 thousand dollars by the end of august so this trend even though my forecast my analysis was a while ago for a bitcoin it actually forecast this trend higher so you want to know what happens for the rest going into the end of the year then do consider becoming a patron and then you can read that as well as a full spectrum analysis i usually post at least two per month on average two three per month uh, you know when once soon as they're done I post them and you can check them all out covering stocks AI stocks Bitcoin cryptos all range of markets that I am personally invested in as well so I do put my money where my mouth is which means I have to make sure the analysis is accurate because I don't want to lose any money anyway now you've got a head start heads up and head start on the rest of how you can make money from the small exchange and again the whole of this truly extensive analysis that took me a good three weeks to do has first been made available to patrons who support my work so for immediate and first access to this and all of my analysis and trend forecasts then do consider becoming a patron by supporting my work for just three dollars per month and remember to subscribe to this youtube channel for new videos as we defend ourselves, protect ourselves from the rampant money printing inflation by the central banks. Insane money printing as though it's not gonna feed through into wage and price inflation. Big inflation is coming as I've been flagging for well, over six months, more, it's more like a year now. That's why I was saying last year, if you're thinking of buying big ticket items, do it now before the price hike which have transpired you know I bought a culture K7 for 340 pound current price on Amazon is was it 565 and similar for lots of other tech items I bought for instance the components in my PC that I ordered in January and got delivered in March was 3100 pounds current price of the components is over 4000 pounds crazy the inflation is here and it is accelerating regardless of what the indices say so protect yourselves by investing in assets that are leveraged to inflation and AI tech stocks are leveraged to inflation and are about to get discounted so do subscribe to my youtube channel for such analysis and do consider becoming a patron Cryptomania, forget Dogecoin, today I'm going to be mining Budgie Coin. What you need is a Budgie, just need one Budgie to start crypto mining with Budgie Coin. Ooh, that's an angry bird. 
Eh? You're angry today, Mr. Green. So, this is how you mine Budgie Coin. Get rich, get Doge Coin. Alright, we need to grab that Bougie. Yeah, it's a Bougie Coin, not Budgie Coin. Bougie. Come here, Bougie. I need you. Hey! What's gonna bite me for? Hmm? We need a bougie! Take with my bougie coin. There you go, we got a couple of bougies. Um, which one's more profitable? Green bougie or the blue bougie? I'm not sure at the moment. I have to check the exchange rate. Definitely the green bougie is more noisy. More aggressive. It's more aggressive to mine with the green bougie. Okay, so let's start mining with the blue bougie, the bougie coin. The blue bougie coin. Once you get one bougie, the others won't come.